Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's special report on AI luminaries, where I'm now in San Jose at NVIDIA GTC, where I'm delighted to be joined by Florian Duetto, CEO of Data IQ. Florian, such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thanks for having me. Florian, at Data IQ, you're pioneering universal AI to create ubiquitous access to AI for users, from full code technical teams to no code business leaders. In your seat as CEO, what have been the biggest step changes in your ecosystem over the past year? And how did you see Snowflake and Data IQ complementary grow as AI arose? Over the past few years, the democratization of AI has been a reality. Meaning, we started from a field that was a field of specialists, of technologists, where very few people were deemed to say what AI was, to a field where everyone in every organization is talking about AI. And where we do see, in the customer we serve, people in the business building AI by themselves. People that are not technologists, people that are not data scientists, people that are not AI engineers, people like you and I, that instead of like doing PowerPoint in a loop, are building systems that can help automate their work. And I think this move of AI be becoming actually democratic, actually everywhere, is what's changed in the last year. Great insights and perspective for in. You've decided to integrate DataIQ into Snowflake with features across the entire AI lifecycle from analytics to models to agents. How do your customers harness the power of NVIDIA GPUs? They harness it everywhere. They can harness it in terms of uh, doing analytics faster with NVIDIA GPUs, doing predictive ML faster with GPUs, or using, of course, NVIDIA GPUs to power LLMs that are then run on top of DataIQ and uh, Snowflake Cortex. And what we do believe in DataIQ is that end-to-end -end is important. That's what limits organization in terms of adopting AI is also their ability to govern AI. Because AI is something that some organizations fear. The chaos that AI could create is a source of fear for many organizations. And so this ability to actually integrate Snowflake at every stage of the process, starting with the data, then building predictive models, then combining those predictive models and this data in order to build agents that are smarter than the one you can build just out of documents. Right. I think that's a unique value proposition of uh, Snowflake and Data IQ together. Great perspective and congratulations to all the success you've had this year. You announced record results at Data IQ. What customer value has been driving this growth and where do you see the largest areas of growth for the remainder of 2025? We've seen in the last few years many customers conditioning to modern data platforms and transitioning to Snowflake in order to accelerate their access to data. But what changed last year is their ability to do more, to have like people in the business building use cases using generative AI and agentic AI. Last year, we've seen more than 1,000 wow. use cases of generative AI and agents among our customers. And I think it's just the beginning. It's an exciting next chapter indeed. As companies grapple with extracting AI's full business value, what advice would you like to give to those looking to up-level not only their offerings, but also their teams? I think they need to build trust, build trust in themselves and build trust in their teams. We had a year 23 or even 24 where a lot of generative AI was potential, where we had models that could talk. In 25, now on, if you got enough tokens, if you got enough power, you can actually have models that reason and you can solve many, many business problems. You have many of your competitors that actually already solve them or are in the process of doing so. So for many organizations, it's all about getting in the game. And in order to do that, indeed, they need to trust their business. They need to trust people with the knowledge, the domain expertise, to do more with data by themselves. And if you give access to the data with modern data platform like Snowflake, if you enable the business with ease of use platform like DataIQ to actually do things by themselves, and if you've got the full governance around it, you can actually power, get all of this power of GPUs and data United in order to actually accomplish marvels. Very much a top-down approach, Florian. DataQ has been providing fully integrated, no-code, low-code experience on top of Snowflake for years. How did your AI platform enable DataIQ to bring customer value to a whole new level? We enable customers of any type of industries, uh, customers like Cox or Novaris, among others, uh, on top of Snowflake to actually democratize data for real. It's all about moving all of those. Uh, initially, it was all about moving those simple analytics workloads happening on the laptop to happening on the cloud, where they could be secure, where instead of having small data, you could have like large data at scale, where instead of having simple type of ML, you could do any type of ML you want. And that, that's the first value you bring. And this unlocks use cases all across the blog. Better target your customers, get efficiency in the business, better price, better 
forecasts and uh, the demand of your products, all of this which is re uh, required in order for any type of business to work today. And so it's just the beginning because with Agentic AI and the integration of our LLM mesh with Cortex, we can also get to further step in terms of like further building interesting use cases. Great perspective. Now I wanna get slightly personal with you, Florin, if you don't mind. An initiative that is near and dear to you is building visual agents in Data IQ. Why is this such a pivotal evolution for the overall business? We do believe that agents are not only to be built by specialists, as in people using open source framework like Langchain in order to build it, but they are not also just uh, simple agents that uh, you can do by uploading a PDF and prompting. You've got many interesting agents that can be designed by people in the business that understand a process, complex workflows, that and use it in order to assemble uh, and assemble different components, different tools, in order to actually create business value. And so by doing so with Dataiku, we believe that you can bring the best of a data science platform like Dataiku to agents in order to build agents you can trust. Now I want to look towards the future. As you look out on the coming year, what AI use cases will lead the way and why, Florian? I think the use cases that uh, will lead the way are still the ones that we don't know. I think that AI will surprise us uh, next year that we'll see use cases that we don't dream of. I think that the potential of AI is not just about the repetition of the existing use cases, uh, like mundane efficiency in a business. It's not about like getting 10% of productivity here and there by finding things faster. It's about like building things that can enable people to be like 10x, to do things they can't imagine yet. And I think I'm looking forward to those. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next as well, Florian, such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.